welcome back to Tugboat Month, where I review both tugs and theater tugboat stuff. And for today's top 5, we'll be talking about my favorite episodes from tugs. I've already talked about the characters, so if you haven't seen that video already, go back and check that one out. Before we begin, I want to express my honest opinion on the show. When I was a little kid back in the 1990s, I was introduced to this show on TLC known as Salty's Lighthouse. And at the time, it was one of the best shows from my childhood. Not as good as Thomas the Tank Engine or Theater Tugboat, but it was a close second. Years later, in 2008, I suddenly came across a Wikipedia page about tugs, which also had the same tugboat characters from Salty's Lighthouse. When I first heard about this, I had no idea that this was originally from the creators of Thomas and Friends, and that the models were made in the UK. I went onto YouTube to watch some of the episodes just to see what it was like compared to the show I grew up with. And you know what? It suddenly changed my views. I'm starting to enjoy the show more than its American spin-off. And I didn't realize how flawed Salty's Lighthouse was up until now. Not only the original Tugs was better in terms of writing, voice acting, and original music, but also in terms of editing and consistency. For example, Sunshine was originally a boy voiced by an adult, but was drastically changed to a female in Salty's Lighthouse just to appeal to a wider audience. They even gave the same treatment to Captain Star and Little Ditcher, not to mention that they changed certain characters' names like from Big Mac to Big Stack and from OJ to Otis. While Salty's Lighthouse may not be as good as I remembered it, but I still consider it a guilty pleasure because I loved some of the voice work in it and that it introduced me to Tugs in America. If you want more information about why I still kind of like this show, then I suggest you watch my Top 5 Unpopular Cartoons I Like video. Okay, enough about that. Let's get started on this brand new Top 5 about my favorite Tugs episodes. And even though I technically like all 13 episodes, but these are the five I love the most. So without further ado, let's start sailing. Number five is Sunshine. This is the very first episode of the series. It was a very nice introduction to all the main characters, including Tencent, Zorin, Captain Star, Captain Zero, and of course, Sunshine himself. The reason I put this as number five is because, as I've already stated, this is the very first episode of the show. Secondly, it made me feel bad for Sunshine when he got rammed into the Duchess by Zorin just to steal his job and frame him for the situation. Sunshine ran away because he felt like he let everyone down. Thankfully, Sunshine was found by Tencent and his friends, and they told him that it wasn't really his fault and persuaded him to join the Starfleet, which led to Sunshine getting repainted. Overall, this was a great series introduction to the show, and if you're new to Tugs, then I suggest you watch this one first. Number 4. Trapped The premise of this episode revolves around some of the Star Tugs being trapped on the other side of the river due to a rusty old tramper, which was meant to be taken to the Breaker's Yard by Zug and Zorin, was Jam's leading Zug trapped on the other side of the river with some of the Star Tugs. But with the help of Billy Shoepack, they managed to blow up the piece of scrap in half with dynamite and were finally free. This is number 4 on the list mainly because of Billy Shoepack's first appearance, as well as the funny lines like when Top Hat says, We'll all be blown to kingdom come. And of course, when Billy Shoepack was joking to OJ and Big Mac about blowing themselves up with dynamite, Big Mac says, You better be. I also like the cool explosion during the climax which causes Zorn to be pulled away by the rushing waters and landing on a small island at the end. Overall, this was a pretty great episode with an awesome climax and funny lines throughout the episode. Number 3, High Tide. When it comes to episodes with Papa in it, this would have to be my most favorite one mainly because of the collapsing bridge scene, and the dock railway was the main theme for this episode. In the middle of the story, Zack and Zebedee meet up face to face with Top Hat, Lord Stinker, and the two railway barges Frank and Eddie, and were bickering of who should go under the bridge, and who will turn back. But when Zack and Zebedee decided to go first, the steel broke through the bottom of the bridge due to Zebedee's carelessness, and that he couldn't reverse due to full power. As the two Zed stacks go for help, 
Top Hat manages to save Papa and his coaches first by pushing the steel rig under the bridge to keep it steady. When that was over, the steel rig sank to the bottom leading the bridge to finally collapse. But to save little Al the goods engine from tumbling down, Lord Stinger suggested that Top Hat push him in front of the broken rail and was able to catch little Owl just in time. And in the end, Zack and Zebedee had to repair the broken bridge the next day. And the steel company was certainly not happy about that. In conclusion, when it comes to lighthearted episodes, this one had to be my most favorite one not just because it's got railroads in it, but because of Top Hat and Lord Stinker's heroism. It just shows that stinky characters like Lord Stinker can be really useful too. Number 2. Ghosts. Ah yes, the spookiest episode in the entire show. The story is that Zoran, Izzy Gomez, and almost all the other Star Tugs were frightened because they saw ghost tugs and were trying to hide from them. While I'm not a huge fan of Halloween, except for the candy, but the reason I love this episode is because of how spooky the White Fleet is, especially with those eerie vocals that they play every time they appear on screen. Who's that? Who's out there doing anything like that? Can't hear that engines. It's funny. There's a ghost fleet that Scuttlebutt be talked about. Ghosts. No. Corpse. Who are they? I don't believe. Yes, I do. It's, it's what Big Mac saw. The ghost fleet. It's a ghost fleet. Not to mention the climax where Tencent and Sunshine encounter an old galleon rising from the bottom of the ocean, with lightning striking it and King Neptune's spooky face mask showing up in this scene. Oh, and there were some explosions too. When the next morning came, everyone at Star Dock was talking about the ghost hugs when Hercules arrived. He explained that they weren't ghosts at all, but were known as the White Fleet. And he said it best in this clip. They're the White Fleet, down here from northern waters on the trail of an iceberg. These tugs sail at times with engines off, listening for cracking ice. There was a wooden galleon frozen in this iceberg, which must have melted in our warmer water. That's why you saw the old vessel bob up to the surface. <laughs> I doubt you saw Neptune, Sunshine. He's for fairy tales. And after that, we get to see the sunken galleon being towed away by Burke and Blair. All in all, this is my second favorite episode of the show because of its spooky and eerie atmosphere and that we shouldn't be afraid of ghosts because there is no such thing. And it's no coincidence that I'm talking about this episode during the month of October, lol. Now before I get to my number one pick, I just want to give a few honorable mentions. Quarantine. As much as I like this episode, I decided not to include it because I don't want to think about the current pandemic at the moment. Big Freeze. I decided not to include this one as well because it kind of makes me a little sad, mainly because it was the very last episode produced before cancellation. But hey, at least the song at the end is quite good, but teary at the same time. Upriver. It got beat out by Trapped and High Tide. Regatta, aka 4th of July. When it comes to Blue Nose appearances, it would have been number one. And speaking of a number one, the number one best episode of Tugs is Munitions. Ah yes, the darkest and most violent episode in the entire show. It starts off with Blue Nose telling the other Tugs what to do, but everyone refuses to obey him, much to Blue Nose's annoyance. But when night came, that's when the trouble began. Blue Nose's bossiness got the best of him when he accidentally hit a barge of munitions, which caused an oil drum to catch on fire, leading to a great fire spreading. While Ghost is the second darkest episode, Munitions is the darkest of them all because it involves fire and the death of a certain character named Krakatoa, all thanks to Blue Nose's idiocy. What also makes this very dark is when Big Mickey sacrifices himself by falling into the water when his dock got blown up by the fire. Luckily, we do get to see him again in High Tide, as well as in Thomas and Friends. And to be fair, I'd rather not kill off Big Mickey because he's a likable and important character in both Tugs and Thomas. Now I want to express my honest thoughts on Blue Nose. For one thing, 
he should not be confused with Blue Nose the Schooner from Theater Tugboat. Secondly, he's probably my least favorite character in Tugs due to his bossiness and that he's the one responsible for Krakatoa's unfortunate death in the end. I mean, say what you want about Bradford, but at least he also had a kind side to him. Another reason why I love this episode the most was the epic and dramatic music. I mean, just listen. The next morning, when the fire was finally put out, everyone else was safe, including Ten Cents who survived the blast, Grandpa's towed away Blue Nose, who was in a nervous breakdown. In conclusion, because this was the darkest and scariest episode in the entire show, Munitions deserves the number one spot. It's also number one because there were a lot of people who were inspired by it. For example, EE93, when he did his own version of the episode, but with Thomas Wynn Railway and Lego characters. Now let me know in the comments section on which of these episodes are your favorite. Do you agree with my list, or do you have your own personal preference? And if there's anything I could have elaborated more on, then let me know down below. Now before I move on to the theater tugboat videos, there's something that I need to get out of the way first. This is Trevor Davis, signing off.